My grandfather had the first nursery for houseplants and succulents in the UK. I always remember getting my first plant from him. It gives pleasure to so many people and, um, and, and then there are a lot of people that are collecting. I'm Adam Livingston, probably from the accent you can guess where I come from. It's Scotland if you didn't know. Uh, I have been growing you know, plants for a hundred years. If it's not, it feels like it. A prickly fair, I slowly started it up about five years ago. And it's not going to be huge because I don't want it to be. Basically, the main thing is succulents. And I started this line of mini cacti, mini succulents and living necklaces which are probably the most popular because nobody else, uh, as far as I'm aware, does them. And uh, everything from fridge magnets to little mixed gardens. And some varieties are more popular than others. This is a very, very popular one. The trouble is they're very temperamental. They die very easily. But everybody likes them, so we have to make more of them. I've had this one plant for years and this is the first year I've been able to get a uh, quantity out of them. I've probably had it for about eight years. When some people discovered that it was like, a profitable business, then they would go to farmers who were growing rice and tell them and those farmers got out all rice or vegetables, whatever, and grew out of that and went to this in a big way. Now no, it's because there's so many succulents around, you're probably better going back into vegetable. Yeah. That's the way the market works, but there are so many varieties and new varieties being developed. Uh, what's your favourite? That's always the question. And it's always the same answer. Which one of your children would you say was your favourite? You have no favourites. They're all nice, they're all beautiful. And each one has got their own particular characteristics and beauty. It is a nerve sensor. No power operation. There we have a leaf cutting. And then slowly the roots come out and the little plant starts forming. Even some of them flower in a little. Here we go, now we're coming into t terrarium production area. Terrarium's lining up. And uh, I'll turn you over to Kate. Okay, my name is Kate Valencia and I work for a prickly affair since the beginning of the year. And I make terrariums. This is a large teardrop. Um, we've started off with vermiculite at the bottom and just regular potting mix on top. This is dry moss putting a fine layer of that on top. So this is where I make the closed terrariums. You know, more and more sizes. These ones are much more fun to, do, to make because you can like stick your whole hand in there. Whereas these ones tend to, tend to get a little bit infuriating. And I studied some sort of environmental science stuff at uni back in Perth and then I went traveling and basically moved to Melbourne to get a job back in some sort of kind of, I like working with plants and so I wanted to use my degree basically. I didn't realise how trendy they were until I started working with them and like went to the markets and stuff and people just go, oh my god, they're so cute. Oh wow, you guys are really into them. <laughs> I thought it was just me that liked plants. Sometimes people come and they're evil and then they try and hurt my plants. Especially like the skateboarders. Every single time they pass I have like a mini heart attack. I'm like, what if my plants get hurt? Like you just have to get used to it. Hi, I'm Michelle and I work for a prickly affair in the Melbourne City kiosk. Before I worked here, I was basically just doing uni, this and that. And then got a job here. And now my life is just study and cactus. Very uneven here. How many like 
cactuses and things we sell. And it's really great in the summer. I can't wait until it gets to like the Christmas season. So then I'll be like packed. And then so many people will visit me. Oh, actually that is good. Oh, do you want to see more of those? I've got a couple more. And you've got like some pretty good mixes coming around. We've got the broad leaves, like the purple version. Yeah. Normally we only have like the blue ones. The best part about working here is that I get to spend a lot of time with like really cute plants and then you can look after them and when they grow and when they flower and when they change color and stuff it's really nice you're like I can I can do this I'm an accomplished person I can look after things but these ones are some of my favorites they grow really well and they look like wicked there is no least favorite plant they're all beautiful you can't hate them it's like being like, which child do you hate the most? You can't, you can't do that! I mean, okay, you probably shouldn't have a favourite plant either then because you're not supposed to have favourite children. But it's kind of inevitable. Every day is strange when you work in a cactus shop. There's lots of people that come who are not the soundest of minds, but it's really fun talking to them sometimes. I wish I was like an octopus and then I have like eight arms and this would be so much easier but I am not and I have short arms and legs so I can't actually reach this and we just have to kind of guess it we have the kiosk in the city we do uh, St Kilda Sunday Market, the Queen Victoria Night Markets, and Rose Street Artist Market, some wholesale selling, and we'll be opening in Preston Market. Should keep us busy. My grandfather bought a tomato nursery in Scotland during the Second World War. The tomatoes were a common thing for growing in Scotland and uh, he got interested in cacti and succulents which is difficult to produce in Scotland so he used to go to the south of France and bring them in and grow them on and he was the first person in the UK actually to produce cacti and succulents commercially so that's probably where it's, I got my uh, interest in it I remember being there from a very young age at that nursery and that's what I've been doing ever since and there's not many people that can say you've been doing something for a hundred years and you still enjoy doing it. And I can say that. I, I enjoy every day. <laughs> <laughs>